If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the show. What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny. And today we're going to be going over the last three fights for Tim Zhu. We're going to talk about certain statistics that nobody mentions when talking about Tim Zhu. Before we get into that, we know already, guys, this fight's coming up March 30th. It is the biggest fight in the careers for both Keith Thurman and Tim Zhu. Why? This is called a trajectory fight. Whoever wins is on to the next round, basically, in order to become a unified world champion. Some of the facts going into this fight, Keith Thurman has never fought at 54. He also hasn't fought in over 800 days. And Tim Zhu has just been on fire lately. The Australian marauder goes in, gets the job done, and he's very businesslike. With his adoring fans around the world, people are on their seats waiting for this matchup. Some stats about Tim that we can expect. We know he's undefeated 24-0. 17 knockouts. He has a 70% knockout to win ratio. Very classic orthodox style and they call him the soul taker for a reason today in this video we're just going to go over his last three fights last three victories over brian mendoza carlos ocampo and tony harrison what we're going to do is start with the mendoza fight we're going to talk about some of these statistics and punch stats and get a bigger picture and a clear understanding of what keith thurman is going to have to do to beat tim and when you talk about zoo the first adjective that should always come to mind is power. This guy, he possesses a lot of it. And what he wants to do is control you on his front foot. He controls the distance, the distance management by keeping his front foot where it needs to be. Usually split stancing an orthodox style fighter and setting up his right hand with using his jab. Normally, to faint. He really doesn't do too much damage with the jab. When you look at his total stats against Mendoza, Mendoza once again was one of these fighters who outpunched Tim. Mendoza threw a total of 433 punches, only landed 93. Tim threw 30 less, round 400, but landed more at 120. This is what makes Tim so dangerous. We talk about it all the time. He doesn't waste a lot of his shots. Power punches adding up. This is where the stats get really intriguing. Mendoza, even though he outpunched Tim, he didn't outpunch him in power. He only threw 225 compared to Tim's 258. Mendoza landed 71, Tim landed 98. Why do you guys think that was the case? How could Mendoza outpunch Tim but didn't throw more power shots? It's because in boxing, you have to set your power up. And with a dangerous guy like Tim with power, if you take those power shots without setting up, you're going to find yourself on your back. And these stats tell that exact story. The scorecards, Tim won this fight by decision. We know Mendoza is a tough out. He's never been finished. Timmy got the UD 117-111, to 116-111, to and 116-112. to And if Keith wants to beat Tim, he's going to have to find his power shots from those unorthodox angles that we often see Thurman punching from. Let's move on to the Carlos Ocampo fight. There's not much we could say about this except devastation. It was short, but it was violent while it lasted. Timmy knocked Ocampo down twice in the first round. He unloaded 20 power shots and landed 50% of them. But this is the take home point, guys. And this is a stat that nobody talks about with boxing is when you have a guy who can knock you out, can they do it in both hands? And yes, guys, Tim Zhu has power in both his left and right. The Ocampo fight was proof of this. Ocampo got dropped twice in the first round. The first time was by a left hook. And the closing sequence, Timmy knocked him out with the right hook. So what does that tell you? Once again, stats don't lie. Zhu has power in both sides. And Thurman, when he's circling, he better keep his guard high, circling to the left and right. Because Zhu likes finding those opportunistic moments to land those hooks. And if he out-angles Thurman, it could be a quick night. And guys, the last fight we're going to talk about is the Tony Harrison fight. Something that's special about Timmy is he believes in his preparation and the Tony Harrison fight is an example of this. Why? Because he predicted a ninth round finish and that's exactly when Harrison was finished. Zhu made good on that fight prediction. He landed 45% of his power shots. So once again, we started this video with what? The adjective power. Well, with Tim, power is a noun. He possesses it, right? 45% of power shots against Harrison. After three rounds, Zoo had landed 21 power shots to Harrison's five. Why? 
you saw going into this fight, I was in the fourth row to this fight in Sydney. The body and the frame of Tim Zhu is also something that doesn't get spoken about. You could see when these guys were squaring up to each other, Tim was the more muscle bound fighter, but he's also aerobically trained, meaning that he's not bodied up in a sense that he's ever gonna fade. This guy has cardio for days and Harrison knew that, thus he only landed five power shots because he knew it was risky and he couldn't find his jab. By the sixth round, Zeus power punch's landed advantage had ballooned to 58 to 18. Once again, a statistic that tells this story. A, Harrison couldn't find a jab, didn't want to take the risk, and Zhu didn't respect the power. If you're going to fight Tim Zhu and he doesn't respect your power, it's going to be like putting meat into a blender. So that's something that Thurman has to worry about. And Tim is the blender and obviously his opponents is the meat. At the time of the stoppage, Zoo had landed 105 punches to Harrison's 29. Harrison did land 49 jabs, almost doubling up Zoo, but that wasn't enough to counteract Zoo's power. There's or an upcoming fight. Just let me know in the comment section below.